bienvenidos a Styling Your Lipstick. El pinta labio que tengo puesto para este video is by MAC Cosmetics and it's called Smoke Purple and my husband loves this color. I bet you he's going to give me a compliment for this video because he doesn't know what I'm wearing. Should I buy or just buy? Let's get into it, bitches. The holidays, I'm not going to hold back, so we're going to go really bougie this time because what's the point of living if you can't have fun? Let's go straight to Dior. Ay, ay, ay. Look at this purse. I can't get enough of these lady Dior's and now they brought out this one. It's embroidered and look how badass this purse looks. It's gorgeous. It's ornate. It's decorative. It's giving me baroque type of vibes. It's stunning. I want it. I want it so bad. I want it so bad. I looked at it and I got depressed because I'm not going to lie. Dior's bags their prices are through the roof and then i heard they had a price increase like really where the hell are you trying to go to the stratosphere but man when i saw this i just i got depressed because i am like why am i gonna like something that i know i know i can't afford this is the medium lady delight bag that i'm obsessed with it's stunning the minute i saw it i had to screenshot it and send it over to my husband not in the hopes of him buying it but for him to lust over it like i do <laughs> love like when i see things i just send it to him like we just have fun with it, it cost five thousand three hundred dollars i'm not gonna lie for that price if i see a girl down the street wearing this i will rob you oh my god i should not say that because it's actually not funny there's a lot of robbings going on nowadays the streets are getting vicious just admire this from afar but i'm going to spy 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 full speed ahead because there's no way unless i win the lotto tomorrow or i get the breakout role of my dreams i will be able to afford this but wishful thinking i'm getting depressed let's move on i had to stand the fuck up for this one hold on you can't even see me standing up because i'm literally crouching over <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me sit my ass back down. Look at these. The D Zenith Heeled Ankle Boot by Dior. Right? It has like the perfect mix of Daisy. It's like edgy, glam, but streetwear aesthetic with sexiness. It's Daisy. I mean, they called it the D Zenith because it's Daisy Zenith Ankle Boot. They had me in mind when they thought about coming up with this type of like aesthetic, this theme, this beauty right in front of me. And I get it. I might actually get it. I might get it. I might get it because, because it's the holidays and this is the only time of the year, thankfully, that I can come out with a little list, a little wish list, you know, for my husbands and my loved ones and the dear close ones to me that in the event they can, you know, spruce up a little goodie here and there. So this will be my hit list slash wish list. I don't know. We'll see if I get it. But this one costs $1,490. I buy luxury stuff, but it's like I'm very selective because just for now, I'm not rich. I don't know. Let me see if I can find a way to get these goodies on my beautiful corny feet. So for now, I'm spying, but I might buy. Mama mia, stop the press. Look at these boots. I found these boots out of nowhere. I don't know. I was just browsing like Daisy normally does. And I came across this brand, Mustafa Haba. And when I saw these boots, and let me tell you, I saw these boots a long time ago, like quite a while, like maybe like a year or two ago, give or take. And I took a screenshot of it and made a note to self that one day I may be able to get it. And they're on sale. They are on sale and they are on sale since Black Friday. And I might actually get these too. I've been spying, but I think that this one is actually one I might buy because the price is semi-reasonable. These suckers have been costing $525, but they're on sale and they have it for 30% off. I mean, from $525 and I've been eyeing this for a couple of years. Oh my God, don't be surprised. Don't be surprised if I get these. And actually get it in white because this comes in black and white. I have black boots and I'm kind of like, low-key feeling the white ones even more something about these boots i think it's the extra strap on the top there that's giving me this extra edge like i'm on a runway like move over beyonce i'm feeling the white and if i get this it's gonna be in white so i've been spying i've been spying for a couple of years and i might actually buy do you guys want to see an unboxing this if i get it let me know give me a thumbs up or drop a comment and let me know because these are so move aside because i'm going to good old lv 
Me and LV are so close that I call LV by the initials, LV. But in case you don't know what I'm talking about, Louis Vuitton. Look at this jacket. The electric accent ski jacket. Hey, fuck skiing. I don't need to go ski with this shit. I don't care, but of course, if I go skiing, it's a bonus because I love skiing. This is fab. I know it's very ski aesthetic, but I don't care. I would wear this for the city because New York City gets really cold and it snows a lot and it gets to the point where it looks like I should just go skiing right outside my door and so it would come in very handy for me and I think this is so chic this is so hot this is so hot but of course LV even though I know LV by first initial basis doesn't mean we get along because this bitch costs six thousand eight hundred dollars I want to know what it feels like to have so much money one day that giving six thousand eight hundred dollars for a garment is nothing because you know you're gonna make it up next week. I want to know what that feeling's like. I need a drink. I will be spying, 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 spying because that's all I can do. Bitch, once I hit LV, I can't leave. Look at this monogram teddy sleeveless jacket. Could you not picture this on me? Like all jokes aside, could you not picture this on me? I will rock this to a T. I will rock it with a big smile like nothing's wrong in my world. I'm a princess, there's no harm, no foul. I'm just going around with my merry way donning this teddy jacket. This is stunning. This is stunning, it's sexy, cool, it's city vibe, it's sleek. It's modern, it's streetwear, it's edgy. It's like the it girl type of clothing eye. This just looks so good. This looks so good. And it pains me to say that I'm just gonna be spying and just spying away because this costs $2,220. At this point, I feel like I should be spiking my coffee because this video is making me depressed. It's stunning. It's stunning. This comes in perfect for New York. It's also something I know I will utilize. I think it's gorgeous. Maybe I can be across the street and just take out my binoculars and just spy away because that's all I'm going to be doing with this cutie. Spy, 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 spy. And lastly, you're going to flip. Hold on to your damn toupees because this is not even a fashion item. I am an avid bike rider here in New York City. Just checking Jacques and me. Look at this bike. Isn't this the freaking cutest bike you've ever seen in your life? I want it! I want it! I freaking want it! Like I said, I ride everywhere here in the city and this would be so cute and there's a freaking waiting list for this shit. Can you believe there's a waiting list? I don't even know the price because it doesn't show online but there's a waiting list and there's no price. What does that tell you? Right, the same thing it's telling me. Run for your life because this shit is going to be expensive as hell. It's called Levelo. And it's stunning. Look at the frame and the stunning millennial pink. And then the tires, it's like this edgy modern black color. I can so see myself riding that bike in New York City with pepper spray because I feel like if somebody's gonna try and rob my ass and take this bike away from me, I'm gonna pepper your ass from a mile away because I'm gonna see you coming because that's how anxiety driven I am that I'm always like two steps ahead and that's not good for me. <laughs> Thumbs up or thumbs down. Subscribe and embark on a more magical and stylish lifestyle. And smash that notification bell and join my feline furry squad.